Okay, so let's start investigating your premises. You say reality is defined by and limit to, limited to laws and constants. You are so confident of this that you even assume that I will of course agree. Actually, I don't. The laws and constants that you speak of are merely our way of describing what we observe in reality. But all we can reasonably conclude from the fact that we discover such laws and constants is that reality, and reality is all that there is, with no exclusions, is necessarily self-reflective. It can, by necessity, if it feeds back into anything, only ever feed back into itself. It can't feed back into something else, because there isn't something other than reality. So, what we can conclude then, is that it appears that reality, in interacting with itself, is limited by constraints. And I would expect that such constraints are of the nature that require reality to remain internally consistent. And that, I think, will then cause reality, cause what we observe as laws and constants to emerge naturally from reality. Which is very different from assuming that those laws and constants are somehow external to reality and are imposed on it. You, know, you see what I mean? So, by virtue of merely needing to be internally consistent, reality creates its own laws and constants. That is my hypothesis. It also has a bearing on my conclusion in video number 3, and that is why I must reject your second premise as well. As I disagree that everything by necessity is defined and limited, I certainly don't therefore agree that it must require a ontological cause. This is the main reason why modern physics rejects the notion of causation, and it won't allow us to be snuck back in through the back door either, I'm afraid. This really does render the remainder of your video, in fact your whole part 2, pretty much null and void. So at this point I could just stop. But I won't because I said I was going to address a few other points. Um, I will therefore, out of courtesy, address some of the points you raised in your second part of your video, even though they are really all based on the premise of accepting what you said so far, which I don't in any case. But let's carry on.